series of Verhurda's events. And this one promises to be a good one. Ulrich Portier of Guadeloupe, Keon John of Trinidad and Tobago, Antoine Andrews, Bahamas, Kaelin Vitalis, St. Lucia, Demaria Prince, Jamaica, Matthew Sophia of Curacao, Nicolia Kennedy of Barbados, and Brian Morris of Trinidad and Tobago. Noticeably from this field is Javel Granville, who crashed out in the first uh, round. He hit the first hurdle and fell. He would have been a contender for a medal in this final. Yeah, he certainly would have been. Javel Granville came in as the number one this season with a 13.56 clocking. Demaria Prince, his teammate, now left to fly the Jamaican flag in this event. There's an outstanding competitor from Curacao as well. As uh, we look at Vitalis of St. Lucia, bypassed the octathlon where we feel he definitely would have gotten a medal there to focus on what he says is his passion, the 110 meter hurdles. There is Matthew Sophia of Curacao, bronze medal in the under 17 division in 2019, ran 13.15 last year to win silver at the European under 20s. Vitalis, lane number four, tall, spectacles like a throwback hurdler. Didn't want to do multis two weeks in a row, not often recommended, and so has made the choice to come here to the spring hurdles. From Jamaica, Prince, smooth in qualifying. Here's the field, here's the long jump finalist, Potier. Yeah, 15.48 to get him into the final, he's in lane one. Kian John of Trinidad and Tobago goes into a 14.33 man at his best, ran 15.23 to get through to this final. The Bohemian with a 13.88 personal best, Antoine Andrews, 14.19 in qualifying. 10.39 on the flat, versatile. Here is Vitalis, record holder for St. Lucia, 14.09 his best, 14.65 in qualifying, has a shot at a medal. Slow starter, has to hustle. Demaria Prince of Jamaica, 13.77 at his best, 14.61 in qualifying. Third on the time list this season. Here's the fastest man in the field on personal best, Sophia of Curacao, the European under 20 silver medalist from last year. Very quick across the flat between the hurdles. Dangerous, could win. On his outside, Kennedy of Barbados, 14.33 personal best, 14.90 in qualifying. His country as a world champion, Rand Brathwaite, 2009. But on the outside, second slowest in qualifying, Brian Morris of Trinidad and Tobago, got in with 15.18. 10 athletes entered. Eight finished from the first round, one didn't start, Granville crashed out, and so once you've finished in qualifying, you're in the final. And Andrews, very smooth in qualifying, very clinical over the hurdles. I expect to see him in the medals for this final. Portier, Guadeloupe, John, Trinidad and Tobago, Andrews, Bahamas, Vitalis, St. Lucia, trains in Jamaica at Kingston College, Prince, Jamaica, Sophia Curacao, Kennedy Stand up. of Barbados, and Morris of Trinidad and Tobago. There is Andrews, the Bahamian, 13.88 at his very best. If he can get close to that here, he'll have a shot. On your marks. Matthew Sophia, although his personal best is 13.15, first race of the season was in qualifying, did get to the semifinals of the flat 100. Let's see if he's sharp enough to win this title. Prince of Jamaica in five is sharp. He's had a lot of races this year.
they have been asked to stand up again. So increasing the tension inside the national stadium for this 110 meter hurdles final for under 20 boys. It's definitely increasing the tension. At this point, athletes are, you know, you have to refocus. You did a lot of mental visualization uh, getting into these blocks. Now you have to go through your routine over again. It's, 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 it's a little bit nerve wracking, but this is par for the course. And when you've prepared oh, yeah, physically and are ready physically, when you get to the line, so much of it at that stage is mental and it takes a lot of energy to focus mentally. Indeed. World junior record reset last year, 12.72 by Sasha Zoya of France in Nairobi at the World Under-20 Championships. Forte Guadalupe, John Trinidad and Tobago, Andrews Bahamas, Vitalis St. Lucia, Prince Jamaica, Sophia Curacao, Set. Kennedy Barbados, Mars Trinidad and Tobago. Away they go. Andrews got up well. Sophia is also running well in six. Prince of Jamaica goes forward. Andrews starts to have problems. It's Sophia of Curacao ahead of Prince of Jamaica and Andrews of the Bahamas. That's the way they cross the line. The European under 20 silver medalist, Karifta under 17 bronze medalist from three years ago, becomes the under 20 champion in 2022. 13.74, very few races this season, none coming into the Karifta Games over this distance, but delivers Prince 1388, gets the silver medal, and uh, Andrews of the Bahamas, despite falling apart mid-race, was able to recover and come through in 1391 to take the bronze medal. I don't know if I spoke too soon. Uh, Andrews was very clinical in his in his in his semi-final. It looked as if he was going to go away with this one. Very smooth. Got into trouble at hurdle four. Sophia just took that as a springboard. Sprints trying to hold on. Sophia recovered well. Uh, Andrews recovered well, and then just held on for the bronze. But very very tight finish for second. Sophia in charge in the boys' 110 sprint hurdles, under 20, and uh, gone to take performance, smooth and competent, and gold medal. Denies the Jamaicans a clean sweep of this event. Negative 2.0, 13.74, Prince 13.88, Andrews 13.91, Vitalis just outside the medals, 14.20, Kennedy of Barbados, 14.46. Maurice headwinds all through the sprint hurdles trouble definitely trouble but Sophia didn't have much trouble he just kept low and uh, didn't try to exert too much energy you can't fight the win he pushed straight through Daniel Dowie is by trackside thank you Ricardo I'm here with the winner of the boys under 21 10 meter hurdles Matthew Sophia from Curacao Matthew, you had bronze in under 17, now upgraded to gold for under 20. This is your final career stop. What does this mean for you? You know, uh, this is a very excited race, exciting race. Uh, this, ra this race means a lot to me. Uh, as I came third place in 2019, uh, I came first place right now. I wasn't expecting to run 1370, uh, but I'm really glad with it. I'm glad that uh, I came first place, and I thank God for everything that I do. Uh, and, to, and to know that you did this in front of your father and your friend and your country mates in the stands, how, how special is that to you? I mean, it's very special for me and also for them. I think it's uh, way more special for them, for them than for me because, uh, yeah, uh, they, they feel it way, way on a much higher level, mm -hmm. on a much higher intensity than I do. So uh, I'm very thankful for that. And... Uh, I hope to make the most of this this day. All right, and lastly, what's your favorite thing about Karifta in Jamaica so far? Uh, my favorite thing about uh, Karifta? Oh, there it goes. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, everybody's such a great sport. Uh, I like the people. Um, very competitive, and uh, I hope to see more uh, from them in the coming years in Karifta. All right, congratulations again, and thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's the first man who didn't say the food. You can tell what.